Here at Iowa State University, the next generation of plant breeders are being trained to help our crops adapt to the ever-changing environment to help farmers feed the world. We are using cutting-edge tools from functional genetics and genomics to predictive analytics and plant phenomics. Even here in Iowa, there's some misconceptions about how the seed industry works, the technology that they use, and how farmers are being treated. I took a walk around campus to ask the public what they thought. So what are your thoughts on farmers saving seed um, from year to year and growing them the next year after they harvest them? Well, for as long as humans have been growing food, farmers have been saving seeds from their harvest and sowing them the following year. I believe that farmers who own their seeds should be able to plant them again the following season. Farmers are and always have been free to breed and develop their own seeds. However, they can't use seeds developed by someone else without their permission. The hybrid corn seed that I help develop displays hybrid vigor, resulting in stronger plants and higher yields. Producing hybrid seed requires cross-pollinating two plants, which in turn requires regeneration every year. Saving hybrid seed isn't feasible for farmers as the vigor would be lost in the next generation. Life. What are your thoughts on that? I don't think we should be allowed to patent life. We need to preserve biodiversity, food security, and indigenous people's rights. Farmers rely on plant breeders to explore, understand, and harness the Earth's biodiversity to develop resistant crops. Luckily, scientists have tools that allow breeders to incorporate pest-resistant traits found in the Earth's biodiversity into high-yielding but disease-susceptible plants. It is our intellectual property rights that are the foundation upon this and the seed industry technology are built. The outcome? Helping save farmers from crop loss to disease and insects. What are your thoughts on the relationship between farmers and big companies? I don't know, it seems like farmers are just becoming more and more like slaves. Just to these multinational companies being forced to return year after year just to buy seeds. Farmers are not forced to buy their seed from any one company. They are free to choose where they get their seed from. As a plant breeder, I focus on farmers' profitability and success. Seeds from five or 10 years ago may not produce to the current standard or be susceptible to a new disease. A profitable farmer is able to stay in business to support his family and continue this tradition of harvesting from the land. What are the benefits? A safe, sustainable, reliable food supply. As plant breeders, we are passionate to develop better seeds for a better life.